Hello and welcome back to the East Side Edition, Kennedy's very own news crew. We'll be releasing a video every week covering local, national, and global news. Starting off, Kennedy's holiday concert was last week, featuring performances from the orchestra, band, and choir. Congratulations to everyone who is involved. In other Kennedy news, the Movie Club is starting up on January. Every other Wednesday, Movie Club members will meet via teleparty and watch a movie that everyone voted on. Contact Audrey Crippen at the email shown on screen right now for more information. In case you weren't aware, all students have time off until January 4th. Enjoy your break! In other news, Penny the Turkey, so named because she lived near 98th and Penn, has had a memorial erected for her at that very intersection. After being fed by local residents, she became rather aggressive and was regrettably removed by the DNR. We can only hope that the turkey who lives near Kennedy keeps a low profile this winter. In other news, the 35W bridge spanning the Minnesota River is finally finished, with a footpath for pedestrians to enjoy as well. Bridgeview Elementary School is opening as a COVID-19 testing facility, much like portions of the Mall of America have already been doing. In national news, the Electoral College has voted to confirm Joseph Biden and Kamala Harris as the next President and Vice President of the United States. The final hurdle for them to pass is a confirmation vote by the Senate, although Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said in a statement this past Tuesday that he wishes to avoid a fight in Congress. In global news, the Indian farmer's strike is now in its second week, with hunger strikes beginning to crop up as well. Rata Kisan Union leader Rakesh Tikat asserted on Friday that nothing less than the complete removal of new agricultural laws passed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi would suffice to end the strike. That concludes our news for the week. If you're a Kennedy student who would like to be part of the news crew, please contact Marcus Jensen or Joshua Koval at the email shown on screen. Due to winter break, we'll be taking a break until the week of January 4th. Thank you and stay tuned.